I'm often asked whether I think race played a role in the schools that I was admitted to, and usually when people ask it, they approach it very tentatively as if they think it would be a bad thing if it did. And I'm proud to say that I think that it did, not to say that I feel that I'm in any way unqualified, but that in fact race is important to me. And I think that taking it into consideration both created an opportunity for me and made it possible for me to contribute to the schools that I went to in a way that someone who had different experiences wouldn't be able to. In spite of the agreement about the value of diversity, there are continue to be challenges to admissions policies, to affirmative action in schools. And the administration is leading the effort to cut back on the ability to consider race and ethnicity as one of a whole range of factors when deciding who could attend schools. Toward the end of the Obama administration, a series of guidances were passed. So they were efforts to get colleges to be as inclusive, as diverse, and as educationally strong as they could be. Those guidances were withdrawn this uh, July by the Departments of Justice and Education. The impact of that withdrawal was to throw us back into uncertainty, not because the law has changed, but it creates a message to universities that this administration is now taking a different approach. And many of these policies, again, claim to be interested in getting the people who are the most qualified into the schools. And the problem is that the definition of qualified is a limited one, and one that really lacks meaning. There's a tendency to focus on test scores, to look at how well you perform and to suggest that your right to an education depends on where you come on a list of high performing people on test scores. So that, for example, if you had a student who chose to work for Habitat for Humanity rather than taking test preparation courses, that student might not do quite as well as someone who spent all of their time preparing for a test. But who would contribute more to the school? Who has more to offer to society? And shouldn't schools be allowed to take all of these things into consideration? In spite of this mixed message from the administration, we hope that schools will continue to recognize what they have historically, that diverse schools are good schools, are better schools, and that the law permits them to take race into consideration.